Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. In 2021, House Bill 574, the most significant reform of Kentucky's election system since 1891, was passed. Following the reform, the General Assembly passed House Bill 564 and Senate Bill 216, making elections more accessible and secure. We're going to have um, early voting, and it's going to be on the 11th, 12th, and the 13th. Not sure about the times. I'm pretty sure Saturday is going to be from 10 to 4. They will be eight-hour windows when the polls are going to be open. Um, we discussed some about opening early one day, maybe at 6, just to get people that go to work early a chance to vote. And then you've got six days of, uh, of excused absentee voting. That's if you're having a reason that, you know, that's a legitimate reason you're not going to be able to vote, you can come in and vote. Um, you know, <clears throat> I think all those were designed to uh, increase the percentage of people voting. you got to make it easy for people to vote. They're not going to drive out of their way and stand in line. And, in addition to expanded voting access, elections will now be more secure with double the number of counties subjected to post-election audit, a full transition to paper ballots by January 1, 2024, and codifying existing policy of not connecting voting machines to the Internet. Elections are just too important to take the chance on somebody being able to hack them. You know, uh, when they make these rules, they're for the whole state. I doubt that anybody um, is going to hack an election in Pike County, Kentucky, uh, but they have to make a law that, that governs the whole state, and who knows how easy, it, you know, what capabilities are out there, how easy it is to get hacked in the future, so I guess it's, I agree with the rule, you know, um, I don't think the voting machine should be tied to the internet or have access to where people from outside of the area could, uh, you know, from around the world actually, could get in, involved in our elections. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.